Hey you everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today I got lucky because I found a copy of the platinum version of DC Multiverse Cyborg Superman. Something that I actually gave up on. I never thought I'll be able to get my hand on this figure, but luckily I was able to find him by chance. Now, this is going to be a different video because this is going to be a complete comparison between the Platinum and the regular version since there isn't really any difference as far as the mold on this one and articulation. Uh, platinum version of McFarlane DC Multiverse are mostly just repaints. So this is just going to be a complete comparison between the two. I think that it will be a waste of time to make a complete review of this figure since uh, mold-wise, they are the same as the regular version. Now, let's start with the comparison. Okay, overall, my impression with this Platinum Edition is that aesthetically, they are trying to recreate more like the classic Cyborg Superman look. Now, Searching the web, this is how this is how I knew Cyborg Superman because uh, it, it was introduced to me during the reign of Superman. That's the Cyborg Superman that I know. The other modern version, I don't know because uh, I haven't really been updated in reading comics lately. So you can see that the face and the half, half uh, cybernetic and half flesh look they tried to recreate in this mold. And then the one eyed cyborg, one eyed cyborg thingy, they tried to recreate here. Although, in the case of this one, the one of the leg of Cyborg Superman is completely cybernetic, which they didn't do here. Instead, they did this, which I think is their way of, let me just move it a little, way of trying to recreate that, which unfortunately is on the other side of the leg. Uh, I'm talking about that one. And then, of course, the hands, which, of course, so McFarlane is too lazy when it comes to uh when it comes to customizing their uh figures so they didn't have to change this they just had to recolor it instead of giving him a normal hand which would have been more awesome I still think that the platinum version looks better than the normal version though because at least in this case especially the half cyborgans half uh, flesh look is much closer to the classic superman that i know okay let's get to the head sculpt first difference is that the platinum versions has this half face cyborg thing going on and one of his eyes is actually cybernetic which compared to the normal one, which is only cybernetic on his uh, lower jaw. So this is closer to the classic Superman, so I like this one. And if you will look at the neck, in the case of the normal version, it is 100% cybernetic. While in this uh, platinum version, they painted it flesh, so it looks like... Uh, a portion of it is still is still human instead of 100% cybernetic. And I like that one. I like that touch more. And as I said, on the body mold, the regular version is 100% cybernetic when it comes to the torso. While in the case of the platinum version, it follows that classic look wherein half of it is cybernetic and half of it is still you know, the Superman costume. So this is more looking like the 
you know, this aesthetically, I think this is painted much better. And if you will look at the regular version, it's just 100% silver. While in the case of this one, they added, they added some red paint into it, which I think is a good touch. I mean, even the, the belt, you can see that it is half silver and half blue, unlike this one. Then another difference is the hand, wherein in this case, it's, uh, it's aesthetic is more on the blue and silver type. While in this one, it's like they made it like, it is a hundred percent cybernetic with that, with again, that uh, red, red paint that they added on it, which make it actually look good. I think the finish on the platinum version is better than the regular one. Now on the boots, the regular version is 100% blue with a little touch of red. While in the case of this one, they follow more like the um, red boots concept of Superman's costume. I also like the fact that in the platinum version, they added this, they colored the silver, making it look like this is cybernetic, where in, where in on the uh, normal version, it is completely blue. I do notice though that in the normal version, the hand is cybernetic, wherein in this one, it is completely flesh colored. I do love the fact that even the back of the figures was painted half silver and half blue, which is very rarely done by McFarlane. The blue portion of the costume is also also has some dark shading, which is the same as the normal version. I think even on the front, it does have some dark shading. Overall, I believe platinum version of the Cyborg Superman is far more superior than the normal version because at least in the case of the platinum version, the plush portion of the cyborg is there. They actually made an effort to show the, you know, to show that he is half human and half uh, is plush still. Unlike in this old version, wherein the way I see it is like the only plush version is the top of his face, and then everything else is just I don't know. That's why I was really very happy when I found this uh, platinum version in the wild because it is really very hard getting these chase variants that McFarlane does. And as usual, it's always, uh, you know, it is always very disappointing that they had to make the better version the platinum version because, as I said, Luckily, I was able to find it at retail, but most of the time in my area, these are very, these are the target of scalpers and sold in the second market at double or sometimes even triple the price. So if you guys are a fan of Cyborg Superman and, you know, keep hunting on this platinum version because he is obviously the better version when it comes to this to the two. I uh, I like the sculpt of this one, but this is painted more closer to the classic version. So guys, if you've reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. If you like my video, please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. It really helps a lot. So and as always, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.